<laughs> you getting super dark on her. Oh, man. Yeah, you told me that one where you were trapped in the house during a breakup. Oh, after, dude. Yeah, that that's was, the real shit. That one was that's like, on my Netflix special. That's a fucking Vecchione and I. Dude, hold on. You told me that. Like, so he told me the story like a day or two after. Like, I was over there, like, real bummed about my breakup, and he told me that story, and I was like, "Damn, dude, are you all right?" <laughs> yeah, I was instantly, I was like, "Damn, that's tough." Man. Yeah. Well, Vecchione, uh, Vecchione got broken up with his girlfriend, my roommate. Like, they were going through it. And then I had a phone call. I told Shane about it. It was like this blizzard was coming, and mm. I was like madly in love with this girl. And out of nowhere, she's just got weird. And I was like, "Did something happen?" Ugh. And she's like, "Yeah, I just don't know if I want to be in this." And I was it's the last day on a pilot I was writing on, and so it's like early. It's like seven forty five because you have to be there by eight thirty nine. Uh-huh. So I'm like, it's, "It's fucking." She was in L A. It was like five in the morning, and she's like, "Yeah, I just don't." think i should be in this i was like all right damn yeah. that early yeah in the morning cause i was like i need an answer oh because she was supposed to come back to new york and we were gonna talk but her flight got mm. it was like a big blizzard coming through yeah. so they're like no can't they're canceling flights for tonight so she's like i'm not gonna make it in and i was like well we gotta talk about this because i can't sit in a writer's room yeah. all day being like does she want to be with me or not and she's like i just don't think it's gonna work and i was like Take care. I remember saying take care and being like, (laughs) and then I called Rachel Feinstein, whose pilot it was, and I was like, I'm fucked up. And she's like, do you not want to come into work? I'm like, I'm going to come into work. But I made it. It's just like one of those things. It's like when a flashbang goes off, you know, in a movie. It's like, Uh and everyone's just talking to you. And they're like, yeah. And you're like, dude, Dude, I've been in a fucking writer's room the the last three weeks going through this entire thing. And I'm listening to bad jokes. Like when someone pitches you a bad idea and I'm in like the worst mood possible, I'm just like, that sucks. Yeah. Your idea sucks. You stupid. (laughs) They're like, do you want to be a part of this team? I'm like, yes. But that sucks. Yes, yeah. more than anything. More yeah. than anything I'm in so the world. I'm so happy to be here right now. Also, all I'm thinking about is how my insides are crumbling in on each other. But dude, after that fucking day, that blizzard hit that night, and I, we were stuck inside for three days. And it was like I would just wake up and look, and it would be all white out my window, and I'd be like, <laughs> just like the fucking noises you make oh when you're heartbroken. God. You're like, I'd just be like, I suddenly be like. <laughs> Dude, I told you that this is real fucking sad, dude. Yeah. The other day here, I woke up mm-hmm. on the couch and I like was half dreaming about the dog coming up and like yeah, yeah. bumping me with his nose, which is how he used to wake <laughs> me up. And I was like dreaming about it. And I was oh. like, yes, yes. And then like I woke up and I was seriously, I was like, <laughs> like full fucking like you know what that is that's and I fucking, rolled over I that's like, in the Whoa. war movies where the hero's down and he, he, it's his wife and she's yeah. like wake up honey like standing in wake the field up. of grass yeah. okay. yeah, it's gladiator yeah. that's oh. Shane's fucking dog <laughs> running through the grass <laughs> it's him leading his hand through the wheat Marcus Marcus Aurelius <laughs> dude I will have my revenge yeah. in this life or the next See, dude, I, I'm coming I'd, in I'd, hot, rather get, I'd rather get dumped I'd rather get dumped than break up with someone oh dude Breaking I'll tell you this so it's breaking up what worse. it is is it's putting a gun on their head and they're like do it and you're like I'm sorry and they're like what are you doing and you're like I'm so fucking sorry and you're like wait don't actually do it <laughs> no I know I don't want to do it either I'm fucking like just fucking we can make it work please and the alpha dog you're like, you're like fucking every breakup is, every breakup is the end of alpha him? dog didn't they kill him with like an AK-47 <laughs> 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 you just that it. <laughs> 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 they could have just beaten him up and be like, "All right, we're suburban. We're selling weed in the suburbs." <laughs> oh, dude! Someone took it there, dude. Fucking blast! Someone had an AK. <laughs> yeah, dude. Someone got real, real. <laughs> Those got kids real, real. must have been the fucking worst in real life. Oh, I'll tell you what, they had money, so they're just like, "Oh my god!" They probably had this voice. What's up, bro? Oh. Uh, How are you guys going over to Dyson? I've been watching The Sopranos <laughs> recently. Even The Sopranos, I'm like, what a bunch of fucking assholes. I watch oh. the show now. I'm like, these guys suck. Yeah. He's yeah. like, put the ice back in the machine. Like, hits a guy with a brick. I'm like, these guys fucking are the worst, dude. <laughs> they just beat up people and take <laughs> their shit. The fuck out of <laughs> and then they're like, but I'm conflicted about it. Yeah, and he's like, oh, that's where we're at? <laughs> that was the fucking, like, no, man. But I want the like, best man. for my daughter. Yeah, but I, I like the ducks. Oh, <laughs> so, dude, like, the ducks so that's the, why we like you? Because I had a panic attack. <laughs> oh, so mental health affects bad guys. And we're like, oh, guys, don't. He's borderline personality yeah. disorder. Yeah, oh, I've been having God. a hard time yeah. with that show. Dude, breaking up with someone, man. No, it sucks, dude. It's like, it's not. I did it over Skype, 
<laughs> and really? she kept going, please don't do oh. this. And you're like, <laughs> oh god, I, I tapped out. I go, all right, let's try to make it that noise. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, dude. all right, all right, all right. See ya, see ya. I'm gonna go this time. Well, the weirdest is like the post, like almost breakup behavior. They get on like the super good girl, and you're the whole time just like. You're trying your best. You're like, yeah. it's not going to work. Oh, oh, dude. God. oh, dude, the best, I mean, well, the oh. best part of that was I didn't break up with the girl. And Vecchio and my friend Graham were in the living room. And I came out and they're like, did you do it? And I was like, we're going to try to work it out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, couldn't, I couldn't cut my arm all the way off. Oh. And then, dude, this is the best. Oh. Like three days later, she calls me up and she's like, I think we should break up. And you're like, did you just, oh. you can't fire did me, I it? quit? Yeah. Damn. I was like, but it was almost like, all right. Yeah, cool. that's actually, that's the best case scenario. And we met up for coffee and she tried to be like super serious about it. We met up and she goes, I think you have a dependency on marijuana. And I was like, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Totally. Like, yeah, like a lot. Like, a, like nonstop. And she's like, yeah. I'm glad you recognized that. <laughs> it was one of those. So she just ate they it. Have, yeah. <laughs> they have to hit you with a fucking like real hard analysis of like I, when I, when I got divorced with my ex-wife, she like called my parents like, your son suffers some depression. And they were like, okay. Yeah. Hope it works after yeah, you. Yeah, for Sorry sure. That. For yeah. sure he does. And I was just like. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. She's like, I just want you to know this. My mom's like, all right, thanks. See ya. Later. Bye. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> yeah. I pulled that. They'll hit you with I the just, analysis. I did hit the fucking analysis. I was mad. Hit you the analysis. To. And then the next day I was like, sorry about the analysis. I didn't Dude, I, you're, you're great. I yeah, that guy, did it no on a Netflix special. I can never pull that back. Damn. I've texted that girl like, "Can we get coffee? I need to apologize for just fucking yeah. reading your rights." Just being like, "Oh yeah, I hit it. It Dude. was it was my hit him up." Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I fucked your I, bitch. Yeah, you we talked about this, fuck. and I'm like, "Yo, I need that. I yeah. need to hit that." And then uh, I'd feel bad, but yeah, just getting up there and being I'll like, "Tell you what, yeah, I did it." Sack of shit. I, I like I was hurt so bad that I mm. did it all the way through filming, and it didn't hit me until I saw the edit, and I was like, "Oh shit, this <laughs> is going out." <laughs> oh. Like. And not only is she going to see this, but her friends and her family is going to see this yeah. like, oh, well. Whatever. It's like you launched a missile and they're like, it's the wrong coordinates. Like, <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's already in well. <laughs> I mean, we uh, can call them and let them know it's coming. But I mean, there's literally nothing that can destroy that from impact. Oh, my God. So that was like the one time where I was like, man, I think I would have. I don't know. I don't know. It happened. Whatever. You yeah. get out. Tried apologizing. She's not having it. Yeah. God bless. We should meet up in my place and talk about this. Sorry about that. Fuck. No, it was, I was even like, can I get you a coffee and apologize? And she was like, yeah, all right. But the, the disinterested was the worst feeling. She was like, yeah, okay, cool. I'll text you next week. And then just never text me. You're like, touche. <laughs> touche. <laughs> you know this game very well. Yeah, dude. I can't play the game at all. I'm just full it's, fucking because it, it panic. sucks because yeah. you think when you get out of a relationship you're like oh now the games are over and you're like oh it's a whole it's worse a game weird game it's a whole nother level dude each time I get out into the adult dating world it's like from being married I was like god oh, this sucks started doing adult dating I was like holy fuck this is even worse than when I remembered you know what it and is you get out of that and you're like my fucking girlfriend sucks I to get back in here. And you get back out and you're like oh my god now I'm in forty year old dating world <laughs> it like, really. It always is like the way with like it's scary. It's always the way like older people talk about like if I could go back to oh. high school. Like when you're in a relationship, you're like if I could be single again, the things I would do. And then if you don't realize if you had to go back to high school, you would have to take classes. Like you would yeah, have to like, still yeah, suck. Sure. You would like have to go do homework. Because yeah. I think now like if I went back to high school, I'd be fucking way more confident. I like hit on girls, I'd, and then yeah. if I went back, I'd just be like, "Oh fuck, this is awful." <laughs> I, love yeah. I, love I love you. I love you. Dude, my I'm sorry. Was, my ex-wife actually like made money. She was an accountant, made like like yeah. ninety grand a year. So we had like you know a house. Everything looked nice around us, and I was just like, I'm like so in my head, I'm like, "This is my house." I'm like, I'd be getting so much pussy in here, dude. If this were mine, we got divorced, and it was just like in my brother's house on an air mattress. Like, all right, pussy's coming. I'm gonna move in. <laughs> I'm gonna move in with Shane. Yeah. <laughs> Things are gonna take off. <laughs> You go, step I like drive her BMW. Like, I'm fucking rich, dude. There's no way I should be knocking any pussy right now. That's so funny. Is your wife's credit card? <laughs> yeah. you go, I'd be putting hotels on this shit. We'd be staying at five star resorts. Yeah. Just my surroundings are so nice. And I'm like, all right, time for pussy. And she'd be like, no. And I'd be like, what? In my head, I'm like, dude, what? This, what? dude? Are you kidding me? All this? You guys had a sick TV. We did, oh, yeah, I bought the TV. That was what yeah. I did buy that. Did you have to leave it behind? She took it, yeah. yeah. She took it and did like some shit being like, 
Well, the TV is – like, the TV was still – how did this work out? She was buying the TV off me, but she also – the car was in her name, but I, I paid all the bills, and she paid for the car. But then she was saying the car didn't depreciate at all. <laughs> so when I had, to, I had to buy it back off her for, like, full fucking purchase value. And I was like, all right, but you, oh, let's take the TV off. She's like, oh, the TV depreciated. It's worth like a thousand. It was like a four thousand dollar TV. She's like, it's worth maybe twelve hundred bucks. And I'm like, my Civic's worth eight grand right now, though. Yeah. She's like, well, that's you know, that's what it is. Kelly Blue. Oh, well, it's, it's a Civic. It's a Civic. It's Honda. A, Honda. Honda Honda Honda. A good car. It's Japanese. I was just like, same thing. Like, all right, whatever it takes, whatever you want. Just gave it. Just kidding it out. Yeah. Oh man, it's just fucking brutal. It's all a right. cycle, though. Here's here's something because this to get us off the relationships thing. This was really this is the funniest thing I've seen in a while. It right. was last night. So there's a girl that works at Healing that rides a bike and we were all at O'Shea's drinking and she she drinks sometimes yeah. and then was hopping on the bike and right before she left I was like Damn, that's crazy you just fucking rock that bike home and like you, fuck, yeah. you might be fucked up she's like I don't ride it when I'm wasted I was like alright cool so then she starts driving down and everybody's outside the bar and she's like riding down the street and I think Six was like yo do a bunny hop <laughs> do a fucking bunny hop and this is in front of everyone <laughs> she tried to do a bunny hop. Oh, no, the first the front wheel? Did the fucking shimmy and wrecked. Oh. And like people ran to help her. Was it the bike? <laughs> what kind of wreck was it? A bike folding on top of itself? Side, side. Oh. <laughs> she landed. The, she oh she did a bunny hop and then fell. Dude, there's nothing worse than going down on a bike because you're still holding on to something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you're like... <laughs> I went to my cousin's house and they had all these like, you know, in Colorado, there was like canals and shit. So they had like dirt jumps and he's like, dude, these awesome dirt jumps. And I went off the wrong end. So you just, instead, of, there's no lip. So you don't go up. You just fucking go in. And I was like, <laughs> and I just remember like my bike being pulled down and then you're and I'm holding on to it. And my face is just like, wham. Dude, yeah. we had a, we had a big ass hill at the top of my neighborhood and we would ride bikes down. And then when I got to the bottom, like I was going so fast that it started doing oh the fucking shimmy. <laughs> and I put my legs out. <laughs> like, oh, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what were those little things called? Where like, it was just a triangle.